Welcome to my kitchen. This is Cooking with Anessa. I am Anessa. Package of filo dough. Now I'm going to show you how to make one of my favorite filling for filo dough. We're going to start with the one container of ricotta, parmesan cheese, mix it. One egg. Mix it well. Then add on pepper, salt to taste. Not too much salt since you're using Parmesan cheese. Now you can use some nutmeg if you like. If you don't, just your mint. But I'm gonna grind some nutmeg. Gives a really distinct flavor. I'm going to use a pastry bag to pipe the cheese over my filo dough. So I'm going to fill the pastry bag, cut the tip. It's a lot easier to do it this way. Now I'm going to take a baking sheet, line it up with parchment paper and take about eight pieces of filo dough. Pipe the cheese mixture over fill it up. Now I'm gonna spread the cheese mixture evenly with a spatula. I'm going to cover it with eight pieces of filo dough. Previously, I melted the clarified butter and it's around room temperature. So I'm going to brush it over it, all over. Make sure that edges are brushed too. Once I'm going to finish brushing filo dough, I'm going to put it in the freezer. In order to avoid the freezer burns, you got to make sure that you brush all the edges. I'm going to keep it in the freezer for about 40 to 50 minutes. Could keep it for an hour to make it easier to cut. I'm using serrated knife to slice. You can slice the way you want it. It's once it's sliced, I'm going to add some more clarified butter in between the cuts. Once the butter brushed all the way around it, you can keep it in the freezer for up to two months. Make sure it's in the freezer bag with the parchment paper. And you can take it out slices or you can take out the whole tray if you wanted to. I usually bake it in the little pieces so I can serve it as an appetizer. Now at this point you can put sesame seeds over and bake it at 360 till golden brown. Now I have a few pieces of filo dough left that were kept in a plastic covered with a damp towel. I'm gonna make a little uh, appetizers. I'm gonna take one sheet, unfold it. Don't worry that it's ripped, you're not gonna see. And brush it lightly with previously melted clarified butter that's warm, room temperature. After that, I'm going to take my cheese mixture and squeeze at the bottom of the filo dough, a little strip, and then roll them over like cigars. Once I finish rolling, I'm going to brush it lightly with butter and then continue with the rest of this.
Once I'm done, I'm gonna cut them in half, but you can you use them whole size, depends on what you want. Butter them up, okay? Make sure all the ends are buttered because I'm gonna keep it in the freezer. You can store it for about two months in the freezer in a plastic bag with parchment paper, or you can bake it right away at 360 till golden brown. I usually use some mixture of sesame seeds, white and black, on some of them for the presentation. Some people like sesame seeds, some don't. 